first part what is the first part ma html uh, says css or sas anything is fine css or a sas file okay ts okay and fourth file is called a spec.ts okay this spec.ts is used for unit testing purpose ma okay this spec.testing is for unit test this is optional okay this is a optional we no need to write it okay if you are going to support it only we are going to write it okay in our course we are not going to discuss about this one because i am not going to write the unit test cases and even in our project also we did not write the unit test cases okay but whenever it is required you can write your unit test cases over there okay we are going to write only our code in a three files what is the file ma html css ts file okay so now uh, what is the, these three files we will combining into one unit that is called component okay now tell me what is a component ma component is nothing but a which will display something to the user which will display something to the user suppose i am writing a header ma header is displaying to the user or not so that is my it is displaying something to the user that is nothing but a header component suppose i am writing a sidebar so sidebar also displaying something to the user right so i can say sidebar is a component and each component will be having how many parts ma three parts html css ts file okay so css is responsible for styling part html is responsible for uh, content part this ts is nothing but a javascript okay we can think like a javascript that is like a actions and whatever the logic we are going to write we are going to write inside the ts file don't write the script tag and write the code okay we should not write that at all okay we have to write everything inside the ts file and okay for now what we will do i have created a one component folder uh, inside the component i have created a header folder how many files i need to create ma three files right okay so let us create three files ma okay so i'll say uh, create okay the first file is called uh, i want header right uh, i will say uh, app iphon uh, header iphon uh. so what is the name i am going to write it ma component okay uh, so i will say component uh, dot html file i'm going to write html file you can write it any name i can write a dot html a dot css a dot something like this you can write it but don't write that is not a if you are saying a dot css you cannot understand that is a component html or that is a uh, some other html that is the reason always write a first whatever your name you want to keep it app header okay and i want to keep component right i will say uh, dot component this is name only you can write any name okay and finally i will say dot uh, html okay dot html okay so i have created a html file ma. inside this nothing i have written okay now i want to create another file ma. what is the file i want to keep it uh, uh, css file and uh, tell me i will say uh, app hyphen okay app hyphen header dot component dot css okay and now i want another file ma. right click a uh, uh, new file and uh, tell me app hyphen okay uh, header hyphen uh, header dot uh, component dot okay component dot uh, ts file okay now i have created this for three files right okay with this one we have created one component okay now i will reload here and i'll, I'll say okay uh, what i'll do before uh, we'll write some code at least okay i will say uh, this is a uh, what is my uh, payroll header payroll header so i can write in the h1 right uh, let us write in the h1 okay uh, let us write in the h1 okay payroll header okay file and i'll close this it's not required so now i'll save this one, okay save all now i'll reload my project okay see what is the output you are getting in my still this one only why my output is not coming we have created only component ma so whenever you are creating a component you will not get anything you will not get any output okay first we need to write three files right we have done first html file done second css is file done and here i am writing a css right you can write css or you can write a sas also let us go with the sas only ma for now okay later you can write anything not a problem now also i can create right but for now i'll go with a sas now first thing is we need to create a component if you are creating these three files that doesn't mean you created a component you just created a files okay next step is you need to create a component do you know how to write a class ma in javascript in the last class if nobody if anybody don't know please go and watch the class last class okay uh, class uh, what is my class name i will say header component you can write any name okay header component okay so everybody know what is this one right so for like this 
now i am i want to use this file in other class i want to use this file in other class that is the reason i will go and add another keyword called export now tell me what is the use of export ma i want to use this class in another file that is the reason i am going to add export if you are missing this export in other file you cannot use it i will save this so far anybody have any doubt here ma nothing we are writing we are writing a ts file but we are writing javascript code only okay this is fine right now we are done with the component but if you are writing like this this is okay but angular doesn't recognize that this is a component angular doesn't know this is a component we need to say that hey angular this is one component you treat like this is a one component if i want to specify this is a component we have to add a one good annotation called we need to add a one annotation okay we need to add a one annotation okay so you need to say yet yeah, there is a uh, component what is the what is the one we want to do it ma at component okay so at component so first step ma okay so we can say this is the decorator or some people will say annotation anything both are same only okay now i have written one class but i need to make this is i need to register with angular hey angular this is a component for that reason i need to add a annotation called at component what annotation i should add it ma at component okay at component so think like this at component is like a method ma suppose remove about the comp at and this is like a method so this method will take a one object this method will take a one object so i will take at component and at component will take one object okay so i will say this object is nothing but like this okay how will you write your object ma open bracket and like this right so like this you can write a your object okay like this i have written so this object will internally this object suppose our person object what are the properties we have it name salary age like this right for this object also there are some properties are there ma okay there are some properties are there so that properties is nothing but ah uh, that that properties are nothing but a selector what is the first property ma selector okay so selector you need to give a one string value ma okay here you need to give a string value here like a what is the tag and you want to call with this component suppose in the index.html what we have seen ma app hyphen root right so that is one tag whose tag that is our own tag right like this we want to create our own tag name so for now what i will say app hyphen header because i am going to create header only right i will say app hyphen header so now uh, okay, I, so this is the tag we are going to use it in a, some other file now everybody understand what is the selector right so this is like a identifier for this component okay and second thing i want to link between my html and my component right so that is the reason i will go for a second called template url what is the second property ma template url okay uh, template url and i will write it like this okay uh, so this template url is like what is my html file name ma app hyphen header hyphen component.html right i need to say uh, dot means a current folder okay uh, slash what is my file name app hyphen ah okay let's say app hyphen uh you need to say if you don't have it so see here like this okay ah uh, let us go here and write the dot slash ah uh, app hyphen okay ah uh, header ah uh, dot component dot ah uh, component dot html okay this is fine ah uh, and last we'll go for a template style url ma what is the last one ma style url okay so here uh, we can give a array okay array so this array will take the strings ma okay uh, dot slash uh, what is my css file name ma app hyphen header dot component dot uh, dot scss okay uh, something what is wrong here ma some name let us uh, rename here copy the full name and get it here okay okay so now i have created okay so this is your now you can say you have created a one component okay now tell me what are the steps you have done ma first i created a three files okay and then what is the file then i have done the th files and next step what i have done i in the ts file i am writing a one class class is equal to header component that is done right and after that what is the annotation i may have did ma at component this at component uh, you have imported from the angular core angular Core. you have imported from the angular core that is fine and in the set component how many parts you have it ma three parts uh, what are the tell me selector 
template URL style URL. Very, 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 very important. Okay. So in Angular, we are going to have only 10 annotations. Okay. This is the first annotation. So if you want to say this is a component, what annotation we should add it my at component. At component, what it will take a one object. The inside that object, what are the parameters we will have it a selector, template URL, style URLs. Okay, in the template URL, what is the file we will give it ma our HTML name? What in the style URL, what will give it ma our CSS file? Okay, CSS file. Now we have given writer. Okay, this is fine. Now I know that this is my header name writer. I will Hello? copy this header name. Yes, ma. I will copy this header the, name. Yes, ma. That selector, uh, can you please tell me that again? Hap header. You can give you can give any name here. I want to give my name. I can give SS something like this. You can give any name. Okay. For now, what I am going to give. So I will say app iPhone header. So this is like a tag. Title. I'm going to use yeah title. So this is like I'm going to use like a tag name. That is the reason I'm going to write a app header. Okay. Now I'll go to my index.html. Okay, index.html. I can add it here. I will not touch the index.html. So by default, where if I'm adding a where I will get my output ma. If I'm adding an app component, I'm getting my output right. I'll go here. I'll write a my tag name. What is my tag name ma? App iPhone header. Correct, right? I will save this, save all, and reload the project. Okay. Uh, immediately you will see the very nice errors. Okay. Uh, so if you see the error, let us go into the right side. Uh, so yeah, you are seeing the error, error or not? What is the error you are saying it? Uh, App iPhone header. Uh, it is saying what is the error? Please read the error. This is the error. If you know this error, half of the Angular is done. That's all. You are go daily, you are going to get this error only. Okay, now what is the error it is saying? Uh, app iPhone header is not a known element. It is saying, uh, hello boss, I don't know what tag you are writing it. Whenever I am writing app iPhone root, uh, Angular is displaying some output. But whenever I am writing my tag, uh, it is not displaying any output. It is showing some partiality. Okay, so the, what is the error it is showing? Uh, hello boss, I don't know what you are writing here. Right, that's the reason, right? So now to solve this problem, we need to say, first uh, Angular need to aware of my component. Okay, we have written one component at component is all added. Then why it is not coming? So that is not sufficient. Ma. Whenever we are writing at component uh, with this one, this is not sufficient. Okay, we need to do additional one more step. Okay, additional one more step. What is my component name here? Head component, head component, right? Just to copy this name. So what is my starting model? Ma? App model, right? This is the starting model, right? Go to this class. Okay, there is a declaration. We have it, right? Go here and type a. Uh, this is taking an array. This is taking a array. Okay. Just add a comma and add your name. Okay. Add your name. So by default, it will show error like this. Okay. Control space. Automatically, it will import the component. See. Now it is importing. Uh, what it is doing? Uh, importing. If you are not exporting in that page, uh, here you cannot uh, import. If you are not importing, it will not register to the Angular. If it is not register, it will say that error only. Now what is it? Now I will save this. Okay. I will save this. Uh, see. Now what is happening ma welcome angular this is coming see automatic my header also coming but i want to come my header in the top first okay uh, now i will go to my page uh, where is my page i'll go to app root uh, i'll cut this and i'll go to here top okay now i added a app, app header okay header i will file uh, save all and i will reload okay no need to reload automatically this is coming i want to add a background color and uh, tell me how to add it ma okay uh, how to add background color where I need to add it? Go to your uh, HTML file. Okay. Uh, you will say H1 write. Uh, you write a class. Ma. Class is equal to header. Okay. Uh, copy this header. Uh, go to your size. Uh, dot header is equal to. Uh, write a background color is equal to. Some write, write any color, whichever the color you want, write it. Okay. So for now, I am going with this blue color. Let us reload. Okay. Uh, for file save all. Ma. No need to import. Just to save all. That's all. No need to import anything. Okay. Automatically, this will work fine. Sir, so then they will ask sometime in interview, they will ask uh, how your CSS are coming. It is very, very simple, ma. You are adding at component annotation, right? Uh, here you are specifying to which file you are linking with your HTML. Again, you are specifying to which CSS also you are writing, right? Uh, internally, this will automatically link your HTML and CSS. Because of which annotation, ma? This set uh, component annotation. Okay, at component annotation. Okay, so now I have written one component, right? I want to write the, the same component two times, ma. So if you want to two times or three times, so simply uh, what you do, 
go to your header wherever your output is coming okay where is my output is coming over here right i will copy the same header and i will write a three times okay now now tell me how many times this will come three times so you are writing only one time your code and how many times it is displaying it three times okay suppose if you want to do the same thing in the html code i want to write a same div for three times how will you display it ma you have to write three times right but here how you how many times we are writing only one time but we are using the tag for three times now we are avoiding our duplicates right so one place in the html project how many places you have written your header so many places you are written right now it will avoid your problem right you will write only one time that and you can use it anywhere okay so now we will go for a component okay so now everybody understand what is a component right component is nothing but which will display something to the user which will display something to the user ha component what are the files it will have it ma html ah css and a ts file and there is a spec file also that is not required okay three files what we are going to write inside the html whatever the code i want to write it what is the css uh, all styles what is the ts file i am going to write it uh, a component code right okay so now we are done right now i want to write a footer component ma so can we do it faster now we know it right okay uh, i'll go my component here okay uh, right click on component and create a folder don't create inside the header create only inside the component okay click on component and right click okay uh, so click on component new folder uh, do it ma footer okay so i created a two folders now i have a one folder for header i have another folder for the footer okay uh, we, we need to do it fast okay uh, right click uh, new file how many files i have it ma three files okay uh, app iphone i'll say uh, footer dot component dot uh, okay component dot html okay i'll copy this name enter okay i want second file uh, what is second file ma a uh, css okay uh, let us uh, reload this okay ha uh, uh, what is second file ma new file ha uh, dot uh, css anything is fine uh, now what is another file i wanted ma new file i will say dot uh, ts now we done right uh, and now what is the next step i need to do in the ts file i need to write a uh, class uh, tell me what is the component i will say export ha uh, class ha uh, what export class uh, i will say Footer component because I am writing footer component right. Ah, uh, footer component, excellent. Okay. Ah, uh, that's all right. Now I need to add annotation right. Component. There is some spelling mistake. Okay. Ah, uh, now what is annotation? I should write it. Ma, at at the component. Okay. Ah, uh, at the component. Okay. Write it. At the component. Okay. Just uh, control. Ma, uh, control and space. Automatically that import will happen. Okay. Ah. Uh, so i will add a bracket uh, i need to add object right okay i will add a object so inside the object how many arguments i need to give it ma three uh, what is the first one ma selector okay what is the is of selector ma whatever the tag value we are giving it that is like our tag name in the angular okay so selector uh, okay so you, this is an uh, json object only key and value pairs okay uh, so i will say uh, what is the name i will give app iphone footer excellent okay comma and what is the next i will give it ma template url okay uh, what is the url i want to give it ma string okay dot means a current folder only okay uh, slash what is my file name app dot component dot html okay that is done uh, what uh, now next uh, style urls okay style url okay uh, what is the value i will give it uh, dot uh, slash uh, and i will say dot sas file okay sas file okay so but you need to give in a array ma you need to give in a array okay because uh, angular will support uh, multiple files but only this one uh, only one file but styles you can support uh, multiple files now we are done right uh, but we need to do another step also we need to register our component to the app module correct right uh, let us register ma copy this name okay copy this name go to app module and where you need to write it inside the declaration okay i'll write a comma the order is not important but you need to write it inside the declaration okay add it by default it will show error right control space automatically it will show the error so now it is imported right now we import the statement also is happening okay file saver now i am done with all the files ma file saver if i want to see the output i need to add it right i'll go to my app component uh, in the last line i will say app what is my tag name ma app iphone c i is coming app iphone footer okay let us enter like this okay save this and reload it ma see ah uh, i did not write anything inside the footer so let us write one footer ma uh, let us write one footer there is a footer tag is there right uh, html find new feature uh, i'll say uh, developed by trinets technologies okay trinets 
technologies okay something like this i want to add a color ma i want to add by uh, tag name i want to add it so can i do it or not folder name ah uh, tell background color is equal to ah uh, background color i want to use it uh, tell me some color ma rgb do you remember rgb right uh, rgb ah uh, what is the color we want to give it here ma so let us uh, give it here we don't want to do this one i'll say 200 150 okay I don't know what color it will coming. Let us see. Okay, so automatically this is coming. Suppose you want a uh, uh, white color, some white background. Uh, how to do this? Uh, color is equal to white. Okay, and you want some uh, height, ma. Uh, what you can do? Height is equal to some 30 pixel, something like this. Let us give it. Okay, something like. And you, I want to make it in the center. Uh, how to do it? Uh, text align center. Before you are writing here, automatically it is refreshing there. Okay. Save it here, automatically revision. Okay, you can do it right. Now we have generated this one right. So now you know what is a component, right? Component is nothing but a uh, which will display something to the user and it will have a four files. What are the files? Ma? HTML, CSS, TS file, and spec file. Correct, right? We need to register our component to the app module. Then only Angular will know that uh, if uh, suppose if I am missing uh, that component, what will happen, ma? We are getting unknown, unknown element, right? We are getting that error, right? Okay, that's fine. Suppose if you are doing this much, a lot of work, why Angular will do this one? Correct, right? So there is an easy way to do this. We no need to write all these things. Simple one command will do everything. Okay, now we have done uh, manual, right? Now we are going to do in a command line. Okay, command line. Okay, so what I will do, please see this one. I'll stop my project. Okay, I, I stop my project. Okay, now uh, so I will click on clear. So it will clear ma. Okay. So where I want to create my uh, components ma? Inside the app. Uh, inside the app, where I want to create it ma? Components, right? Okay. So I want to go to that folder. Okay. That is the reason I will say CD uh, app. Okay. And uh, click on tab button ma. Okay. Click on tab button. Okay. Uh, click on SRC uh, app components. Okay. So why I am giving is so now see my command where I am going it ma inside the this one right uh, like this. So now I am going inside the here. Okay, SRC app. Now I need to create a component. Suppose I want to create a sidebar component. So do you know how to create a sidebar component right? Tell me how to create it ma. If I go to uh, components uh, right click uh, new folder. Uh, sidebar uh, inside three files right uh, everything again I need to write annotation. I need to register right. Uh, this time I am not going to do manual. I am going to do a uh, command. Okay simple ma ng ng for what ma first i will check it when ng version is there or not so if this command is working only i can run the command okay ng is working that is fine so now i want to create a what component i want to create ah uh, okay uh, so component right component i want to create what component sidebar component okay uh, ng okay ng for angular generate okay generate okay generate for generation what i want to component okay component Okay, ah, component, component. What is the comp my component name? Ah? Sidebar, okay, sidebar. See, I'll enter it, okay. I will not do anything else. I'll sit relax, okay. So let it do it work, okay. Now see, what is happening? Ma? It is created a sidebar folder. That is okay. It is created a HTML file. It is created a SAS file. It is created a spec file. It is created TS file. Now great, right? Now I'll go to my TS file. I'll see what is the code is there. Now see. Export class, class name, and annotation is also added. And this add, this tag also added. Correct, right? And now let us go to app module. Ma. Now I need to register, right? So let us go to app module and check it whether it is registered or not. See, this is also registered. See, everything, whatever you are doing, this is already done by the what is the command? What is the command? ng generate component side. Sir, very big command, right? Sir, I don't want to remember that big command. I want short command, sir. Okay. So what is the command? Suppose I want to generate a I how many command uh, I want to create? Uh, three components, right? First go to your project. Uh, let us see in the PDF ma. For sign up, I want one component. Sign up, I want component, right? So let us create one component for sign up, ma. Let us see how to tell. Uh, tell me how to create it. Uh, ng uh, generate uh, component. Okay, uh, what is my component name? Sign up. Sign up. Okay, let us enter. It will create one component. Okay, I want to create for login also. I want to write. It. I will say login, I will sign in. Okay, that both are same only. Uh, tell me how to do it, ma. Ng uh, generate uh, component sign in. I am not giving generate and component. Uh, simply say G. G for generate, C for component. 
okay now we have short and even short our command also i will enter sign in okay earlier sign up for uh, sign up page registration page sign in for a see command is created right now i want to create another component ma so now two components are created right let us go to my project name so now these two are done okay this is okay i'll go to down and now uh, i want sidebar sidebar also is done now i want this one right what is the company name companies okay now i need to create a company component right tell me how to do it ma ng g, g c uh, company correct right that's all so how much easy it is one okay you need to that is a one frameworks always will easy our life they will not complicate our life okay we need to see we need to understand what they are trying to do that's all okay clear now i agree now again tell me i want to company is okay now what is another uh, thing i have it uh, for employees one and reports one okay uh, tell create another two components ma okay ng uh, okay uh, tell me ng g c uh, employee okay employees okay employees what are the name you want to give it okay let us give it and i want another component for ng g c reports reports right so uh, with the how many steps we are able to create it must see all components are created right see all the all components are created in a single we did not do it manually okay but if first itself if i am saying ng generate component you will never know that what internally it will doing correct right so whatever we are doing it it is it will same thing will do by the this command also okay so there is a next interview question how will you generate your components uh, tell me what is the answer ma ng generate component tell in the full name we will write writing it is a ng gc that is fine but whenever you are telling to them at least you say generate component component okay like this okay we can give it okay so now there are two questions we have covered what is component what is a component ma component which will display something to the user correct right and it will have a three files html css and ts file correct right okay and next thing we can reuse the component we can write once we can reuse anywhere any number of times we can reuse it we no need to write the duplicate code correct right so everything is clear right so now uh, we will go for now we have generated right so now i'll clear everything so now currently where it is where i am there ma in the components right so people this do will be mistake i want to start means i will say ng serve if and if and open if you are running this this will not work out okay so always where we need to there ma we need to be only inside the payroll project only not inside the components src okay now i need to go back i need to go to my home okay uh, let us do how to go go to home ma so there is a command called cd dot dot what is the command ma cd dot dot so it will go to one step back again i need to write it cd dot dot again go to another step again one more dot cd dot now i am in the payroll right now this command will work okay you will do this mistake if anybody is coming with this mistake i will see okay so that is the reason i am telling it here and now tell me how to write ma ng serve ah uh, sir i cannot write this long command sir i want short command for starting my project also i cannot run ng sir why when i know every time i cannot run it i want to start start my project with a very short command okay so i am going to remove all these things sir. today we are going to learn like a npm start start project okay so i want to start my project so let it start it we don't want to do anything okay let it start it so what is the next command to start the project ma npm start but npm start internally will use the ng sir if and if and open only okay so you see our project is started okay so day by day what we are going to do we are going to learn the advanced things okay so let us see here now i have a header is there my helcom is there like this okay now this is okay right so now now what we will do we will understand more about the our module ma okay now we understood what is a class a component right component will have mainly how many parts ma three html css and tell me that component annotation ma at component and inside the at component how many parts selector what is selector what is the tag name we are going to use it we'll write it as a selector and what is the second part template url okay that url what will specify what is our html name we will specify and what is the third one style urls so what is we'll specify inside the array we'll specify our our hcss name that's all correct right so now we will understand more about the this module okay so this module so now we'll and they will ask hey, what is a module also so interview question there ma they, they may ask hey, what is module nothing okay so i will remove everything okay i will remove everything so this is not a simply like i can write a class right tell me how to write a class ma uh, export uh, class uh, 
I will say I can keep any name. I will say app model. If I am keeping model, that doesn't mean it is a model. It's a simple class only. Okay. Now uh, the second step is if I am writing like this, this is not a model. Ma. I need to make with one annotation. Very good annotation. Okay. To make a class, what is annotation we have used? Ma? At the component, right? Okay. At the component. To make a class. Okay. Okay. Let me try to do it. I'll, I'll do this one. Let me first. Okay. 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 Uh. Okay. So uh, let us write the class. Ma, how to write a uh, export to class uh, app model? We don't need to write it. Ma, if you want to generate a model, we'll have a ng generate instead of component. We'll write a model model name. Automatically, it will generate it. Uh, we don't need to write this one. Okay. For only for uh, learning sake only uh, app model. Like this, okay. Now I need to make this as a model, right? So there is an annotation called at ng model. What is a class map? At ng model, model, okay. Model I have added, okay. So this at ng model also will take the some arguments, okay. This take the one object, okay. One object. So this object will have a three three different properties. First is nothing but a declaration. What is the first one? Ma? Declarations, okay. So declarations is like array, ma. okay. Declarations array, okay. So Whatever the components you are creating inside your project, uh, all components should register in this array. Then only that component will work out. Okay. So first, uh, for to make the app model, what is the annotation we are using it? Ma, ng model. Inside the ng model, what is the property we have it? Ma, declarations. What is use of this declarations? Uh, uh, we will register our components to the that model. Okay. Suppose I, I created a component, but if I am not adding here, your code will not. Uh, work out it will say unknown component unknown component that is the reason we have to register all our classes in the declarations okay that is clear right okay second property is called imports ma okay second property is called imports okay so this is also like an array only okay so this is like a suppose i am developing a html browser project right there might be some other libraries we want it okay there are some other uh, modules we want to use it in our project okay Module a module is nothing but a group of classes. Module is nothing but a group of classes. Suppose I am writing this model, I am going to write another model also. Suppose uh, uh, first model, second model, something like that. I want to use that model here. Okay. Whenever you want to use another model here, we need to add inside the imports. Ma. Okay. Module we need to inside import inside the imports, not in the declarations. Ma. Only components we should write inside the declaration. Models we should write inside the uh, imports. Okay, this is clear, right? Now two parts is done. Okay, now there is a third part is called bootstrap. Okay, now third part is called a bootstrap. Okay, bootstrap is nothing but a what is your starting component for entire your project? Only one guy will be starting first. After that, everything will be starting. Okay, so he will ask what for your project? Who is your starting class? I want to refer it. Okay, so I will say my app uh, component is a starting class. Okay, I will say app component starting class. So bootstrap is nothing but what is the first class? Ma? What is your starting class? Bootstrap it will tell us what is your starting class. Okay. Now tell me what is the declarations? Ma? Declarations are nothing but our components will register there. Okay. And what about import? Uh, our all modules will import in the import statement. What about bootstrap? Uh, only one will give it. That is nothing but what is our starting file. Okay, clear, right? Okay. So now we will open here, ma. Okay. And providers. And last one is nothing but a Providers, I will talk about this one in the next class. Okay, for now we'll uh, think like a we have a providers also. Okay, providers, I will talk about this one also. Okay, so now tell me now we know now we know what is the ng model, right? So whichever the class annotating with the at ng model, that class we can take it as a at ng at model class. Okay, so whichever the class, uh, what annotation at ng module? What 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 annotation ma? Ng model. How many uh, arguments it has ma? For uh, tell me what it is a uh, declarations, ah, uh, imports, uh, providers, uh, bootstrap. Okay, so if I am writing a new class, where I need to register ma inside the declarations. That's all. Not in the imports, not in the bootstrap, not in the providers. Where I need to register ma inside the declarational. Clear, right? So I will remove this one and I will uh, I will I am going to uncomment the other code so that we will understand whatever we have done. Okay, uh, control A and I'll do it. Okay. Okay, uh, let us go to the top and there are some import statements are there. Let us control A and let us do it. Okay. 
now i have uncommented one now if you read this one you will understand right what is this class this is a simple class correct right okay and what is the annotation we are adding this one at ng model uh, at ng model inside what we are writing in declaration why i am uh, declaring all my components here ma otherwise your component will not uh, work out whenever you are seeing any error component is not an unknown element the what is that mistake you did not register in the app model that is a mistake okay now i have added so if i am writing manually i need to register but if i am writing a command command automatically will register correct right okay that is fine now what is the importable statement ma to import the other modules to import the other modules we will use it here okay correct right okay now that is done and what is the providers ma we'll talk about it okay this is for dependency injection okay we'll say dependency injection i will say what is this dependency injection all these things we'll discuss and what is the last one ma bootstrap what it will tell what is your starting class whenever your project is loading first which component will to load first but that is nothing but a bootstrap that is nothing but a bootstrap now everybody everybody understood right so and what is this line ma import and this curly braces is nothing but a to import one class to import a one class and from which file you are loading this is nothing but a, suppose i am writing multiple classes right i am going to import from the angular library that is the reason i am saying a at angular core this is like a importing ma so that uh, originally that uh, file is available in some other place i want to use that in the my code that is the reason i am writing a import statement okay import is nothing but uh, we are giving a link to other file that's all okay we are giving link to the other see here this is a component report component who written this report component we have written right uh, but i want to use it here right uh, to use it what is the statement i want write it uh, import that is the reason i am writing a import okay suppose sometimes what will happen is uh, you will forget about the import ma if you are forgetting about the import you will see like this error okay and saying a uh, this is because of import statement only so now what you need to do go to your report component and control space automatically this line will be added so and sometimes what people are doing is they will go to they will place your cursor in the starting of the component and they will do control space this will not work out whenever you want to import it very simple rule just to go to end of that word and then control space then it will work okay this is a simple hacks okay now i'll save it so with this one uh, what is the down i have started my project now everybody understand what is a component right so starting of the class what is it? we don't know what is a component correct right now uh, in the yesterday what they have done some people every code they have written here okay don't write entire your code in the html this app component create separate separate components and you write the there itself okay a uh, header you write in the header sidebar you write in the sidebar footer you write in the footer and uh, whatever the component you are writing over there okay now we will work on the this thing so far this is clear right okay now we will go for a some small concept okay so let us uh, go here uh, so let us reload it. i don't want this many uh, things ma okay i don't want this many things uh, let us go with the sign in component ma where is my sign in component uh, let us go to my app components uh, sign in okay i'll add a one header ma okay uh, by default i will add a, okay so uh, add one header ma i'll say i want to write one form how to write a form i'll write a div uh, okay div i'll write a form ma i want to write one form h1 what is the form this one sign in form i'll reload my why my output is not coming because i need to mention in the app component then only i will get output right if i am creating output it will not coming i need to mention this my tag in where app component okay uh, i'll go to my app component okay i'll close all the thing close other okay uh, okay what first i need to know what is my tag name right uh, what is my tag name app iphone sign in i'll copy this and uh, where i need to go to my app component dot html i'll remove all these two times code okay and i'll remove all welcome also now i will write a uh, tag like this sign in now automatically sign in form is there okay now i want to write my sign in right okay uh, let us try to sign in do something ma uh, let us try to develop on uh, once you add it here that's all no need to do anything here directly go to this component okay directly go to our component what is my component uh, sign in dot component uh, okay let us develop on form ma okay uh, form i want to write use the bootstrap use the bootstrap okay don't use the uh, normal steps uh, if you want to use the bootstrap how to, do you know how to edit ma uh, tell me how to do it uh, bootstrap for now you use this way but tomorrow we are going in some other way okay uh, what i need to do i have to go for a 
uh, CDN links, right? Uh, let us go to CDN link. OK, uh, let us go to CDN link. And copy this CDN link. OK, I copied the CDN link. Where I need to go to? OK, go to index.html. Don't write in each file. Ma. Write it only one place. That is nothing but a index.html. That's all. Everywhere you can use it. OK, but if you're writing normal HTML file, how many places you need it? All the pages, right? Correct, right? Now I'm going to use it. Ne? Uh, here, this is fine. Uh, now what is the second line? I want to have it. Ma. I want to write the JS. OK, I'll copy this. OK, uh, I'll write it and right click format of the document. I'll save it. Okay. Uh, let us write the form. Okay. Uh, let us write what is the form I have it, ma. I am not going to write like whatever the form it is a different style. I'm going to write it like normal general form. Okay. So I have a username and password and continue button. Okay. Uh, let us develop this one, ma. Do you know how to develop it right? Uh, okay. Uh, input tag. Okay. So uh, most of the time I will go with the div because for I want style right. Okay. Uh, input tag. Okay, input that is okay. Uh, I want to write another second input. Ma. How many inputs I have it? Uh, two and one button, right? Uh, I'll say one button. Okay, button. Uh, what is the button name? Ma? I'll say signing up. Okay, or uh, login. Anything you can keep anything, ma, not a problem. Login. Let us reload our page. Ma. I have it. Uh, something like I want in the center. Ma. I want to make it in the center. Do you know how to make it in the center or not? Uh, okay, uh, I will say do. Class is equal to I will say with the even 50 percentage. I will give it that is okay. And uh, uh, this one that is okay. Now let us reload it. I want the borders ma. How to add a border ma? Border that's all. Okay, let border uh, coming. Let border is coming. I want all the spaces. Uh, M I F N four or M I F N three something. Okay, some space. Uh, but I want in the center right. Uh, so what is the class? Uh, M I F N auto. Okay, uh, automatically center right. Uh, I want in the space in the cell uh, inside ma. If you want in the space, I uh, need to give a padding. I will say P4. Okay, so some space is there. I want space between this and this. Uh, what is that? I can go. I can go here. I will say class is equal to form my fun. Uh, form my fun group. Okay, let us use some group. Okay, uh, let us use the same group for the next one. Okay. Uh, I want to write a one class CSS class here. Uh, okay, uh, class is equal to form. What is a CSS class? Ma? Form my fun control. Okay, uh, see. Okay, this is okay. And what about second one? I want the second one also. Uh, okay, go here and write it. Okay, this is button. I want to make this a button. Ma. Uh, what is the CSS class? Uh, class is equal to BTN, BTN hyphen primary. Correct, right? Uh, okay, uh, primary. OK, so I want some space in all the ways. Ma. OK, uh, margin top empty one or empty two. You can give anything. OK, uh, give some space. Some space here. Uh, class is equal to empty two. OK, now see with a simple how much time, how much time it take. Ma. I want to make in the center. Ma. How to make it the center? Class is equal to X type and center. OK, let us excellent. OK, I want in the blue color heading. Uh, how to do it? Uh, X type and Ah, text type and primary, not color. Okay, ah, primary. So like this. Okay, now this button. Okay, this is okay, right? Now this is okay, ma. Okay, for now, ah, I want to add a placeholder. Ma, how to add a placeholder? Uh, do you know it, right? Ah, tell me. Placeholder is equal to username. Ah, okay. Ah, here also, placeholder is equal to password. Okay, this is okay. Okay, now. Type type okay, we'll give password. Okay, excellent. Okay, uh, we'll give password. Okay, 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 something. Now we are gone. We are done with the form right? So, like this. So, now we'll do the validation and all those things. We'll do it. Okay, tomorrow we'll start the next class. Okay, suppose I want to write a, another sign up form. What I will do, I'll go to my app component. Uh, I'll write everything code only, but here, what I will do, I will say app iPhone. Uh, sign up uh, something like this. Okay, something like this. I will get okay. So automatically uh, uh, it will display this one. Or if I want to link uh, here, uh, if I want to link here, uh, what I can do? I can give anchor tag and I, that anchor tag I can give this link. Automatically that will also will work out. Okay, okay. So I will stop the class here.
tomorrow we'll go some more details okay some more details inside inter, inter. so now you know how to create a component right uh, and how to add this one also right uh, okay so like this you can do it why whenever you are coming tomorrow you need to create a project with all the components I have given this PDF yesterday in the group. Okay, so create one one for one one component and try to do all the whatever the HTML you can develop. It develop all the things. Sign in page, sign up. Don't create. So this is the style you should follow. Okay, so you create same thing. Add any background and create with like this. Okay, and uh, try to have a sidebar. And this one. Uh, so don't worry about the left side and right side. Ma, you prepare sidebar. And you prepare right side component separate separately. I'll make them how to add in a one place. Okay, don't you create separate separate components tomorrow? I will integrate all them into one component. Okay, yeah. Okay, I'll stop the meeting.